So this is Surface Pro 4 that I bought back in 2016 that comes with a processor of Intel Core i5-6300 and a CPU at 2.4 gigahertz and an install memory RAM of 4 gigabytes. So back then I thought, well, it's a touchscreen PC, very slim, and it comes with a detachable keyboard. So I thought this is gonna be the perfect, most brilliant laptop that I'm ever gonna own, made by Microsoft. But in fact, it came with many problems, not surprise. The major issue was that the screen freezes in a couple of minutes after I detach the power cords for some reason. In other words, if I were to go outside for the use of this, I have to always carry my power cord with me and make sure there's somewhere to plug into my power, otherwise I, I couldn't use it. So I called the Microsoft team to see whether they could resolve it, they couldn't do anything about it, so I said fine. I'll just use it as it is. I endured that. The low internal memory, because it's uh, 116 gigabytes is the price of 800 British pounds or US dollars. I thought that's gonna be enough at the time, but no, you need way more memory than that. So um, I couldn't endure that anymore. The face recognition, the chance of success, I would say over the years was 20 to 30%. So I might as well just type in my password every time when I log into my computer. The keyboard condition was suddenly, just over a month ago, start to completely deteriorate. So the surface was starting to come off. So I thought, well, I might as well get a new keyboard so it's, because it's not that expensive. But in fact, the final straw was that Surface Pro 4, if it's laid on a plain uh, surface, <laughs> surface, surface, it started to get wobbly. And I, I didn't realize until recently it was because during this overheating when I'm web browsing or probably using my some of my software at the same time it overheated and the screen started to bend inwards and I just couldn't believe it it means any moment this computer could go dead I'm actually just browsing the mirror website and I know I have actually got the advert stop application installed to it as well but despite of that I'm still hearing the overheated fan running in the background. Check this out. I mean, this is exactly why the screen has bended. So that's why I decided to buy a new gaming PC so I don't, wouldn't worry about this anymore. And this is actually the HP Pavilion 15 inch laptop. So let's get into the unboxing. So here it goes. All right, so this one comes with Intel Core i5 10300H processor, 512 gigabytes, which is really good. Internal uh, state drive, uh, no optical drive in Windows 10, eight gigabytes um, as well. So Nvidia GeForce, so this will be really good for my graphics side of improvement for video rendering and also using software and gaming as well. So perfect. What's it saying here? There's a small instruction setup. All the description, we all know about what this piece is about anyway. With um, start screen and, and other instruction as well. Gesture, okay. Wow. Okay, so that's rather big comparing to Surface Pro. The moment of truth. The HP laptop. That's nice. Wow. Cool. You see that? So the thing I like about this laptop is that it's not that heavy, it's 2.2 kilograms. It comes with the Bang & Olufsen uh, speaker system, which I love, as you know. Um, and then on the one side, it comes with two USBs with a head jack and a power plug. The other side, it comes with a HDMI, 
one USB and this for the internet connection USB-C and the memory slot and most of all the best feature I think this one is and I heard it's quite good is the hot air grill the air grill looks really like one of those Lamborghini kind of features so I'm really excited about that so that it won't bend the screen so comparing to the size this is 12.3 inch monitor and um, quite thin wobbly quite thin and the other one is 15.6 inch of a screen and it looks much promising doesn't it thickness wise we can compare which is that it's almost two or three times of a thickness I guess all right so you can see from the surface pro for the monitor itself is tingling it's starting to lose control there it's been like this for a while uh, the bezel itself is wide and also the monitor is glass glossy finish for touchscreen purpose that's why you get a lot of reflection from the lights in a contrast for the HP pavilion uh, 15 inch it's it's more like a matte finish so you get less of a reflection there and the bezel itself on the sideways is not that bad actually on the top because of the webcam is slightly wider um, but so far so good so the keyboard quality is pretty good I mean the pressing feels really good and also the sound of Bang & Olufsen sounds premium so far so good and um, the quality I have to say other than it's a bit grease friendly <laughs> should we say um, I am pretty happy with it and the th thickness of the monitor as well is pretty thin because I presume most of the components go below on the main board on the base. Alright so this HP Pavilion is Intel Core um, i5 10300H CPU of 2.5 GHz and an install memory RAM of 8 gigabytes, so it's pretty impressive. Right, so this is the StarCraft, um, the StarCraft 2, and the graphic is pretty impressive. I mean, look at that, all those details. I am in great awe with this. I think this PC is perfect for playing such games. And um, wow, look at that. And that's really good. No delays. Um, and, and so on. You're doing well, Gary. Can you watch more drones? Right, so I've been busy installing several softwares and I've just been playing StarCraft and the fan noise you can hear. It's not that bad actually, it's very mild as been told, but I've been told the battery life is not that good actually. So for your entertainment, I actually downloaded PUBG. Just want to show you the quality of it. I mean, that's pretty good, isn't it? Um, hardly any lagging. Um, I don't know whether they can hear me. Hey, can you hear me? I put into the maximum volume of um, Bang & Olufsen volume on this computer. Sound is not that bad but it doesn't get too loud. All right, so hardly any lagging. That's really impressive. The line is pretty sharp. Um, how do I silent them anyway? <laughs> right, so look at that quality. That's pretty impressive. How do I run, by the way? Okay, crouch. Here's a shift. Oh, here it is. Okay, very good. So I can run. Come on, run. Pretty good. No lagging whatsoever. Look at that. <laughs> Starting to get a bit dizzy. So I hope this video gave you an insight on why I'm leaving the Surface Pro 4 and joining the HP Pavilion gaming laptop family. I'm pretty pleased with this uh, system so far. I have actually been heavily installing various stuff and it's hardly struggling. Um, and it's still um, making a bit of a breeze on it, but it's very calm as well. So I'm really looking forward to use this for video editing and all my programming, um, 
softwares and etc but if you have any other further queries if you want to see more about this product how well it performs and any other things that you want to check out before you buy please do comment below and i'll try to come back to you as soon as possible anyway this is ljp tech thank you very much for watching this video all the best bye bye